Hi everyone, Aaron Noonan here with Bianti Model Cars and our regular post round thumbs up, thumbs down segment from the weekend's Triple Crown at Hidden Valley in Darwin. Let's get into it. Thumbs up, Michael Caruso back on the winner's sheet for the first time in mm, a cool seven years, but he got there eventually. Thumbs up to Nissan, back on the winner's board two in three years. Thumbs down to the fact that they're still not in for next year. We need to get a deal done and see those Altimas on the grid next season. Thumbs up, racing quality. Hard, tough, uncompromising. Yes, a little bit of panel damage and contact, but for all those who think the racing is generally boring, you can't say that now. Thumbs up to Jamie Winkup, back in the championship league despite winning just one race this year. I've got a feeling he's about to emerge soon, even though he's not quite nailing the Sundays in that car. Thumbs up, Andre Heimgartner, young Kiwi with Lucas Dumbrell's team, had his best result of the year on Sunday. Thumbs up too to Jason Bargwana, the Driving Standards Observer. The two incidents that were deemed racing incidents, the one on Saturday with Slade, Kelly and Lowndes, and then the one on Sunday with Pye and Reynolds. If we're consistent with that for the rest of the year, I'm okay with it. Thumbs up too to the racing format, two races instead of three is a winner as far as I'm concerned. Now, thumbs down to the injury to Lee Holdsworth. He's one of the popular figures of pit lane. A lot of friends of the anti-model cars and the supercars pit lane. We can't wait to see him back. We don't like seeing our guys injured. Thumbs down too to Mark Winterbottom. He knows the deal. He had a stinker. He will bounce back at Townsville. He is still in this championship fight right up to his neck, no doubt. Thumbs down too, don't know how we fix this, but to the double stacking in the pits on Sunday. I don't know how we fix this. I get asked this on social media all the time about what we do. Do we close the pits? Do we allow one car per team to pit? Do we uh, not allow pitting under safety car? I don't see how we can really change this at the moment, but I think we need to think long and hard. It's not a good look for the championship. It's dangerous potentially to crew members, and we have seen damaged race cars as well. So it's a tricky one, but let's see what we can come up with. Anyway, that's thumbs up, thumbs down for the Hidden Valley Triple Crown in Darwin. I'll have another one for you here on Bianti Model Cars after the next event in Townsville. In the meantime, keep the messages and the comments flowing through Bianti Model Cars social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we'll see you next time.